Migrants at the border is now impacting international trade. 60 trains were forced to stop operations in Mexico after hundreds of people hopped on top of the freight cars trying to cross the border. CNN's Ivan Rodriguez shows us what's being done to manage the crisis. A state of emergency is declared by the mayor in Eagle Pass, Texas, as the surge of migrants crossing the border continues. Also, in response to the surge, the Defense Department is deploying more than 800 new active duty personnel to the U.S.-Mexico border. Around 2,700 migrants crossed into the U.S. near Eagle Pass on Tuesday, while another 3,000 migrants crossed on Wednesday. Many migrants trekking a dangerous path. What we consider to be a humanitarian crisis is what the people endure on the journey uh, to the border uh, in the hands of smugglers. We see so much trauma, so much tragedy. Some people are drowning. Some people are dying in, the, in some of those ranches. If we will find bodies or bones, whatever. So why take a risk? Why make, why make those people come like this? The Biden administration is providing humanitarian relief for Venezuelans by issuing more work permits. We can't spike the ball, but we appreciate that 15,000 uh, migrant asylum seekers are now of something that we can look towards moving out of our care. In the meantime, U.S. Customs and Border Protection is temporarily suspending traffic at the Texas border crossing to help the U.S. Border Patrol take migrants into custody. It's something very strange. Never thought I was going to see something like that in Eagle Pass. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting.